Okay, so here's how I make my cauliflower puree. I've got a nifty food processor. You could probably use a blender if you don't have a food processor. <clears throat> and I put in a chunk of butter, about three tablespoons. I used this cup and I put in maybe about a quarter of a cup, I'd say up to that first, um, up to like this line here. So a quarter to half a cup, it's not, it's not half a cup, it's definitely like a quarter of a cup. See? Anyway, I heated that in the microwave for 45 seconds or so. Then I dumped that in my food processor. Here's my cauliflower. I put a tiny bit of water in the bottom of this pan, about maybe a quarter of a cup of water. Had my, you know, cauliflower all cut, cut up and prepared, threw it in there, brought it to a boil, <clears throat> added a little salt and pepper, and then after it came to a boil, I just turned it off. So it's good and tender, but not too mush, right? All right, so I'm going to take a big old bun bunch of this, probably not all of it, but you can use almost probably a whole head of cauliflower. I'm going to pour it in my food processor. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to press puree and let it go. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's become one of my favorites. Cauliflower puree. Now the sound goes off. Obviously the texture texture is a little bit more runny than mashed potatoes, but it practically to me tastes almost just exactly like it and is so yummy. Unfortunately, they have to be a little bit runnier than mashed potatoes because you want them to be nice and smooth because I, when they're lumpy, I don't like them. Mm. Oh my gosh. Really, really good. Love it. Fried ham steak. Replacing the mashed potatoes with a cauliflower puree is like heaven. I love it. I don't miss the mashed potatoes and I hope you enjoy this recipe and try it out. Bye.